use Gmail. And yeah, you should, because it's good. Uh, Gmail has some nice features. It's gotten um, really uh, kind of more, I don't want to say interactive, more dynamic recently. So, you know, I can schedule uh, uh, an email and stuff like that here. But um, Streak is an add-on. So uh, on YouTube, maybe I'll include the link. I'll talk to Mr. Streak himself and see, can he give me, you know, some advertising <laughs> revenue or whatever. But um, it's just a free add-on. You can add it into Gmail. Uh, and basically, it does a few little things. You can see I've got these extra buttons at the bottom of my screen here. Um, there's a lot of stuff you can do, uh, but the ones I use are snippets and send later, like a, a schedule send. So for a snippet, I mean, this is, you know, less than a minute, but if you're doing it every day, 100 times, you know, I type in here notes, hey, here are our notes, see you soon, blah, blah, blah. Uh, having little templates like that. So this is my class notes one. Um, the other ones I use. So if a student is late for class or they're not there, uh, hey, our class has started. If you need any help connecting, please let me know, you know. Um, or if anyone has dealt with me on, uh, uh, hang on, I'll put in the reminder one again. If anyone has dealt with me on LearnCube and I've done a demo with you, you've definitely <laughs> received, um, I hope that helps. If you have any more questions, please let me know and I'd be happy to assist you further, you know. So this one's nice. Notice that I can just stick it in here. So um, it doesn't have to be a full message. So I'll put it in here again. You know, maybe this is a little line that you're going to use commonly, or you have a frequent question that students ask you. Um, another thing is, you know, that doesn't have to be just text. So if you're doing trial classes, now we have a demo classroom. Um, like that. So um, we have like a demo classroom in the online school. And this would be my demo classroom link here for our example oh. school. So this thing here, I've got, you know, my link to access the class and I've got some instructions, you know, oh, please click allow or share when you're going, because it's the first time the student's accessing LearnCube, you know, they might not know how to get in. Recommending using Chrome or Firefox, which I do to all you guys as well. And if you're using an iPhone or iPad, you need to use Safari, you know, just information in it that will make it a bit smoother for them. This and then I've great. got this XXX, so I'll put in the name and date and time. Uh, one thing to avoid with this, though, be really careful about being formulaic. Um, you know, people know when they get in the template. If I get a template here, I mean, obviously it's a template and that's fine. But uh, I am an academic advisor, um, which means that I'm you know, taking care of four or 500 students now. It's increased so much. <laughs> but, uh, you know, regularly I need to go through their file and send them a message, you know, you know, hi, I'm uh, just following up, making sure you're happy, your class is happy, your teachers. And um, a part of that, we want to make it more personal. So I'll obviously give them some advice and some feedback based on what I can see in their, in their notes and their past classes. So I don't want to give them the same thing every time, but there are certain things I'll use. So being able to stick in a little paragraph with some things, and I really recommend putting it in bold if you, this bit here, so I can just go control B to bold or unbold. Um, so I'll remember to change it or even maybe make it red. Yeah, it's a good idea. You'll, you'll see. So you don't want to send someone an email that actually says, hi, XXX, you know. Um, <laughs> but yeah, just think about how I can do it. Right? I want to save myself time, but at the same time, I don't want to, uh, you know, do two, like, obvious templates. Another yeah. little thing you can do with Streak uh, is down Before here, I can send though, later. Well, oh, sorry, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a really important thing to remember if you're starting with, with, with any kind of technology is rather than just sending people, and this applies whether you're, you're using LearnCube or anything, a lot of students are unfamiliar with technology uh, and just send them a little comforting message of how they might open it, even if it's as simple as open a link. Uh, in LearnCube, we really encourage, uh, as Willem said, Chrome and Firefox if you're using any kind of computer, Safari um, if you're using any kind of iOS device, but it just prevents a problem. So the more problems that you can prevent and the more comfortable you can make those students feel, I think it, it makes all the difference. And it does show that extra personal, personal touch, which I think a lot of people are really looking for as well. So good, hmm. good to see that you're actually actioning this as well, of course. Yeah, uh, and I, I wouldn't be offended. So I'm good with computers. I'm not going to be offended if you send me this big list. But again, my mother, she receives this. I mean, she'll need to call me to explain it all to her. But, you know, it's, uh, uh, it, it is really, really useful. And these, these touches, you know, understand what your students need and try and find the easiest, smoothest way to get them into the class, you know. 
so the other little thing you can do with um, Streak, which I won't show you too much about, I can schedule this message. So I can send it you know, on a different day, a different time. You all know how useful that might be. <laughs> so one important thing with Streak though, let's go here. I'm gonna go to my uh, Streak settings here. Um, so really important thing, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. I have to find the see all settings, sorry. They keep changing Gmail on me. So streak settings, go, go into settings, go into streak settings. You'll see this here, track emails by default. So streak is designed for like marketing and people, you know, they wanna see how many people look at them. But um, particularly if you're in Europe uh, or working with students and you disable this because this will breach GDPR um, guidelines, you know, because you're like tracking whether they've seen your email and it's adding cookies that they don't have like an opt in for. Um, so that's the one thing I don't like about Street because they automatically set that up when you uh, like that's the default setting. So just make sure if you do choose to add Streak, um, it's really easy to use. I really recommend it. Um, but go into your settings, Streak settings, and then disable this email tracking. Um, and I think even if you're not working with students in Europe, like that's good practice. You know, it's not. You don't need to be tracking them and adding adding extra cookies to their email.